way we go, guys, is we start um, with some star jumping first, just to kind of warm up our. our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Running on the spot, ten seconds, kicking our legs up. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent, guys. Spider Man jump. So we're going to touch our toes, jump in the air. So we're number one, touch the jump. Yeah. Number two, touch the jump. Excellent. Three, touch the jump. Lovely, guys. Four, touch the jump. Yeah. Five, touch the jump. Excellent. Six, touch the jump. Lovely. Seven, touch the jump. Good. Eight, touch your toes, jump. Two more. Nine, touch your toes, jump. And number ten, touch your toes and jump up in the air. I would say balance these today. So we're going to do it where we're going to stretch out like we're diving off a diving board. We're going to bring our knee up, bring it back, and see if we can keep that foot off the floor. It's a little bit more of an advanced knee. So we're going to stretch out. We're going to go one. Two, good, three, four, five, lovely, six, seven, good, eight, nine, just working on that balance, ten, changing over with your legs, getting like you're diving off the diving board, one, two, three, four, lovely, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so side knees. So what we're going to do this time, same thing like we're diving off the diving board, but this time our hands are going to come to our hip and our knee is going to come up and we're going to kind of meet in the middle. Can you see? My foot as well is turned sideways on the floor. That's the difference. Let's try doing a set of ten. So we're going to do one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. We're swapping our legs over to the other side. And one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Lovely guys, well done. Roll your shoulders for this. Excellent. And then backwards. Very good guys, well done. So we're going to go down to that toe, we're going to go side to side now. Set a ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you stretch down to your right leg? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change the other leg. One, two, Six, seven, eight. So we're going to stretch out to the side, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll up onto the toilet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Changing our legs over us. So we're stretching them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up onto the green foot, swapping down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, so we do what I call ninja squat. So we're going to sit back, stretch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and sit all the way on the floor, guys. We're going to be able to stretch out. Give legs a little trick. So feet come together, guys. Yeah, two ways you can do the stretch. The first is to stretch more of like your ankles. If you're a little bit more flexible, grab the ends of your feet, and pull yourself forward for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's bring that right leg in, that left leg out. Again, we can either go to the ankle or we can go to the foot. Stretch one, two, three. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stretch behind one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change legs to have a leg rise. Again, we're going to stretch all the way either to our foot or to our ankle. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stretch behind one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to bring both legs in side rise. Give the legs a shake. Right, and then stretch all the way down. You put your nose in the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You put your legs super wide apart. Okay, and see if you can stretch forward. So, again, when you're stretching forwards, you're just going to walk forward with that foot. So, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, shift to your right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To your left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring those legs in, boys. Give it a check. Double it. And you're onto our fronts. You do stretch down. So we push our hips down. Stretch your back up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and just gonna jump up, guys, into our and start. Lovely, guys. Well done. So, good. So, what we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna work on certain kicks. That's kind of the theme of today's class. Um, or I know them as axe kicks, or inside the back kicks. So, um, we're gonna start with putting out, or actually with a leg lift to start. So. Can you see I've got my foot behind me? I'm going to lift up my leg and lift it up as far as you can. Now, when you do a, a leg lift, your legs got to be dead straight. Okay. The idea is so when you do an inside to out kick, you can actually kick my foot. Right, so the leg can go straight to this point. You can see those kicks on. So let's start in our boxing start with our hands up. Let's go check. Uh, check the other guys. And then we're going to lift up. We're going to go number one, lift, and bring our foot all the way back. Good. Number two, lift. Your foot comes all the way back. Excellent. Three, we're going to lift it. Bring our foot all the way back. Good. Four, lift it up. All the way back. Good. Five, lift it up. All the way back. Last one, six. Up. All the way back. Super, then swap over our legs to the other leg. It's the same thing. Now, this leg might not be as, as flexible. Right? You always have one leg that's a little bit more stretched. Here we go, number one, lift, bring it all the way back. Good, two, lift it up, bring it back. Excellent, three, lift up, and bring it back. Good, four, up, and back. Lovely, guys. Five, up, back. Good, and six, up, and back, guys. Lovely. So, let me just check so quickly before we. Uh, Guys, love it. So let's do the circle kick now. Right, so the circle kick is from here turning and then circling in a big circle motion. This way. Right? So we're inside to out kick and we're going to do a set of eight. Right now, what, why do I want you to do this kick is I want to teach you how to do spinning kicks. In order to teach you guys how to do spinning kicks, you have to kind of do the basic kicks first. Okay, now, yeah, of course you can. No problem at all. You need to go, go on, on this. Okay, so here we go, guys. Number one, circle. All the way in, guys. Good. Number two, circle. That's it. So the higher you get your leg, the easier the kicks are. Kick Three, circle. Again, think about your hands staying nice and high. Four, circle. So we go all to the opposite hip first. Five, circle. Big, big circle. Lovely. Six, circle. Sit. Lovely. Seven, circle. Good. That's it. And last one, eight, circle. So it's a bit like you're drawing a circle with a pencil between the toes. If you swap that start over to the opposite side, this is the south face. Then we're going to do the same thing, big circle. Now, my coach tells me. Um, I've 
not every good in both sizes. Okay, some some kit boxing coaches will only train you one side. My coach will send both sides. That's why we do that. So we're going to do inside out. Things. Number one, circle. What would I feel this? Yeah. Two, big circle. So you go to your right hand side and across back to Three, circle. So rise right again. Four, circle. Stand up nice and high. Five, circle. Set. Six, circle. Family. Two more. Seven, big circle. Last one. Eight, circle, guys. Lovely. Well done. So, the other way you can do this is to circle and drop. And it's sort of hammer to it. Now, what we've been doing up to now is see how big that circle is. This time we're going to go down. So you know you did a leg lift like this. You turn, you lift, and you chop your leg in like this. Okay, so it's a very similar kick, but you come down like a hammer. A hammer. So how we're going to do it, Jimmy, is if you follow me, we'll do it in two stages. We'll turn, and then we'll hammer our leg down. Right, like that. Right, if you guys can see that. Yeah, hammer, hammer, hammer. Right, so let's have a go. Then. So, number one, let's turn and then hammer. Boom, straight down. That's it. Good. So, not quite as big a motion. We're not going all the way across like this. We're kind of coming down halfway in between. So, if you use your shoulder, see my shoulder, guys, I use that as where I bring my neck in. Okay, here we go. Number two, turn and kick. Boom, straight down. And a kick. Lovely. No, this is the first time you guys have done this. Doing really well. Number three, twist, turn, kick. Boom, and a kick. Good. Number four, turn, kick. Boom. It's called a hammer kick. Okay. Axe kick. Five, turn, kick. Boom. Yes, guys, well done. Let's swap legs. Let's do it on the opposite leg out on the left leg. Right? And again, left leg might not be as, as, as uh, might be harder to figure out. So I'll show you again. We're going to turn and then we're going to do that hammer kick. So, number one, turn. Get that left shoulder forwards. Kick. Boom. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Okay. Back to our boxing stuff. Number two, we're going to turn. And then we're going to kick. Boom. All the way down. Excellent, well done. Number three, we're going to turn, and then we're going to kick. Boom! Sit all the way down. Okay, good. Two more. Number four, turn, kick. Boom. Yes, right. And last one, number five, turn, kick. Boom. Super right. Okay, do you want to grab your cushion holders or your pillow holders or your pad holders, whoever is with you today? To keep you don't have someone to hold for you, don't worry, fresh air, this is fresh air. Great. Okay. So, what we're going to start with, guys, um, is warming up our legs. So, we're going to start with uh, front kicks. We're going to kick as fast as we can for uh, 30 seconds. Right? So, so that might be great. When I say go, we're just going to kick the pad as many times as we can for 30 seconds. Just get those legs up nice and warm. Okay? Should you wish to put your score down on the chat, I'm going to put the chat on now, okay? Um, feel free to do that. Okay, so 30 seconds, as many kicks as you can do. If you don't have anyone to hold for you, just kick fresh air. All right, guys, I'm going to count my score as well, all right, and see if you guys can do better than me. All right, so here we go, guys. This is just our warm-up drill. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go for cancer. Okay, Master Bob's counting for me so I can talk to you guys. I've been like, keep an eye on the time. Guns are really fast now. This way. You can only use one leg, remember? You can't use both, just one leg. So I've chosen this one. So we are already 15 seconds down. Another 15 seconds left, guys. Keep going. Keep your hands up. Good. We have got five seconds. Four, three. Two, one, time. 52, I got. That's a respectable score. 52. How do you guys get on? Anyone got any more 
then 52. All right, then we're going to get scores. 68 from Eddie. Well done, Eddie. Good score. 41 from Isla. Well done, guys. Really, really good. Excellent. 38 kicks. Well done, Sadie. 38 kicks. That's really, really good. Excellent, guys. Perfect. Okay, so let's try the other leg now. Okay, let's try the other one. So 51 from City, 48 from Richards, and 79 from Riley. Well done, guys. So should we switch to the other leg now? How many kicks can you do now on the other leg? Now, again, uh, it's, it's pressure. This one's a bit tight now. So 30 seconds again, guys. Off we go. So ready? Three, two, one, go. You're kicking fast as you can now. Bounce off the floor. Just using those kicks. That's it. This is that part of our warm up drill. Good, guys. Just kicking, kicking, kicking. We're doing fitness today, guys. I forgot to tell you how we started. Okay, we are all ready. 15 seconds down, another 15 seconds left. Keep burning those legs out, making them kick nice and fast. That's it. Five seconds left. My legs are getting super tired now. Keep going, guys. Four, three, two, one. And time. 54. I did better than the last time. And that's my rubbish on leg. 54 for me. How'd you guys get on? Any more advances? 46 from Bianca. 50 from Myla. 50 from Sadie. Well done. Oh, 53, 46. See, the other leg seems to work better, doesn't it? The one that you don't really use. Really, really, really good, guys. Excellent. Okay, so. We're going to have a go before we come back to the fitness drill. We'll come back to this sort of game again. But let's just work on kicking the cushion and working on that inside out. Okay. So remember, the reason I want to do this kick is when we get back to the studio, I want to get you jumping, I want to get you spinning, teach you all the really flash techniques that we have. So like the basic kick needs to be solid first. Okay. So let's have a look in the chat. 67. Any well done. Okay. So let's start with holding the cushion. You've got to hold it sideways, right, like this. And then what I'm going to get you guys to do is one count, it's two kicks. All right, so if I show you first, all right, we're going to go kick, kick. So you're going to use the floor, one, two, like this. Two kicks for every one count, all right? And then we're only going to do five, so you're going to have 10 kicks in total. But circle kick, circle kick. Use that floor like a trampoline to propel that second act like a second circle. Okay, so let's have a go, guys. So in our boxing start, hands are up, two kicks on the cushion or the pad, or fresh air if you don't have a partner. Still work if you don't have a partner. It's good to I spend a lot of time with the fresh air. So number one, kick, kick. Go back to your boxing stance. Okay. Good. Number two, kick, kick. Back to the boxing squat, guys. Good. Three. Kick. Kick. Back to your boxing squat. Then every time you do this, whether it's pad, cushion, or fresh air, you're building up strength in your legs. Okay. Four. Kick. Kick. Set. Lovely. Last one. Five. Kick. Kick. Back to your boxing squat, guys. Well done. So let's swap legs. Let's do exactly the same thing now on the other leg. So, again, you're going to go to the opposite side of your cushion, bringing your leg across, and then circling, cross, and kicking your small So, this is going to be a bit slow. Perfect. So, here we go. Numbers. Number one, kick, kick, big, big circles. Okay? Lovely. Excellent. Number two, circle kick, bounce, circle kick. All, all the way back. Lovely. Three, circle, bounce, circle. Excellent, guys. Lovely. Four, circle, circle. Set. Last one. Five, circle, circle. Yeah, very good, everyone. Well done. Okay, so how many circle kicks? You do. 30 seconds. There's the challenge. Okay, if you should want to show you guys. So, what you got to do is circle, circle, circle. Circle and just keep circle kicking for 30 seconds and then tell me your score at the end. All right, guys, whether it's fresh air or whether it is um, pad or cushion, whatever you've got, yeah? 
Right, so next we're getting a bit tired now, but we're going to have a go. 30 seconds of circle kicks. Ready? Three. Last one's count. Three, two, one, go. Circle in. See how many moves. You can, now I'm going to let you swap legs if your leg gets tired. Okay, I'm just going to keep going, trying to work those legs in big circles. I'm going to swap legs. Legs get a bit tired now, but they all count. You do those kicks. And again, just swapping over. We've got 10 seconds left, guys. And I like to swap just to mix it up a little bit. Four, three, two, one, and time. How is that? 34 circle kicks from me. How did you guys do? What was the score? Let's have a little look. What's the score coming in, guys? All right. We are going to go first on it. 32 for Bianca. Well done, Bianca. It's good. It's about right. It's good. Good ratio. 30 for Sadie. 45 for Leah. 35, 28. Adrian. Ryder, 24. Well done. Good. Good score, guys. Okay. So. I want to take your circle to 54 from Riley. Well done, Riley. So we're going to have a go at now um, turning and spinning. Okay, so this is the first time you guys get introduced to spinning kicks. Right? So what you do when you turn is you start sideways. Now we have done this a couple of times in the studio. Okay, she's how many minutes. You're 33 from Spitty. Well done. Okay. So we what we do is we put our feet together. And then we look over our back shoulder and walk around in a circle. As soon as we see our cushion, we circle kick. Okay, now I know we used to stand on dots when we do this in the but you start here, you look behind you, you walk around in a circle, and you see the cushion, you spin. Now, if I was facing you in class, I'd be looking, having my right leg behind me, because it would be the way I can do this. Look behind my right shoulder, walk in a circle, and you see that cushion. We just do that spin kick, right? So we're going to have a go at doing that, just walking it first, all right? And then we'll have a go from there, guys, all right? So let's try a few of these uh, kicks. So think about the leg you want to use. If it's your right leg, put your right leg behind you. If it's your left leg, put your left leg behind you, okay? And push and hold, you can check their left and right to make sure that the correct forward. So I'll use my right leg for demonstration purposes, so I'm, I'm mirroring this to you. Um, we're going to have the cushion at uh, kind of about chest head height. We're going to look over our right shoulder, so I can't see the cushion now, but I'm looking away from it. We're going to walk around, when we see the cushion, we kick it with the circle motion. Right? Let's have a go at doing that five times. We'll see how you guys get from here. So let's start with looking at the cushion. Find you. Okay, let's walk. Now, number one, walk in. Walk in, you see it, kick it. Sit. Oh, I'm going to kick it up. So I'll go slowly. So you can see the question. Okay, so imagine you've got the floor holding the puck. Find me number two, walk in round in a circle. Okay, when you see it, kick it. Sit. See if it does. Go back to your sideways stance. Okay, look behind you again. Walk around the circle. All the way around, and you see it, kick it. Six, I'm spinning inside up, spinning past it. Love it. Number four, behind you, walk, sit, and then kick. Yeah, nice guys. And last one, behind you, number five, walk around, good, and then kick it. Perfect, guys, well done. Really, really good. Okay, so let's try doing a bit of a bounce. Okay, so start off for a second. So we're going to bounce around now, right? So this goes sir. I'm going to put my feet together. So I'm going to bounce, 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 and kick like this. I'll show you again without pushing. Okay, bounce, 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 kick this way. So rather than walking, we're now going to do mini bounces. So nice and light on your feet, guys. Right, what I'll do is I'll keep fresh air for this round so you guys can see, yeah? But you've got to imagine you could, if you don't have a cushion, it, it, it's not a problem. So I'm going to imagine that you guys don't have a cushion. So standing, standing sideways, look behind you, off you go. Bounce, 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 kick. 
Let's try as well to have that. It's not easy, especially on Zoom, trying to teach this kid. Okay, you're doing really well. So stand sideways again. Look behind you so you can't see the pad now. Bounce, 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 kick. Good, really nice, lovely. It's really nice. Okay, now it's, it's again, we've got yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, look behind you. Three bounce, 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 kick. Yeah, last guys, the heads are high. Okay, let's do two more sideways stance, guys. Here we go. Number four bounce, 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 bounce kick. Yeah. Super guys, last one. Five. Bounce, 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 kick. Super. Right, guys. Okay. So, we need. Okay, so, I want to have a go today at, at something called sniffing. Right, now we've done a lot of rolling where we duck. We haven't done a lot of sniffing. Right, sniffing is something you learn in a straight. Right. So what we're going to practice in our boxing sports is doing this, bringing our shoulder forwards and bringing it to our knee. Okay. So if you can face me, guys, we'll have a go at doing it facing each other. Then you're going to use your cushion holder to have a go. Right. So you take your boxing sports. Now all you do with your legs is you turn your foot, your back foot, towards your front foot and dip your shoulder. Can you see my hands or on my cheeks? So if you turn and slip. Okay, so let's have a little go. So hands are up on our cheeks. So number one, slip. Good. Number two, slip. So it's our shoulder to our knees and knee. Three, slip. Good. Four, slip. Excellent. Five, slip. Okay, let's do eight, six, snip. Good, seven, snip. Okay, yes, that's okay. Eight, snip. And back. Now, this is where the fun begins. Cushion holders, you get to throw the cushion and your parts are eight. Okay, so I've got the boys. So, when Master Bob, um, what's up? He's going to do it straight like this. Okay. When he throws the cushion at my head, I slip and I move out the way. So again, sir, slip. Now, what I call sometimes my pad holders heat sticks. Right? Because what they do is they go towards where their head is going rather than actually towards where their head is. So if you're a cushion holder, you can't suddenly change direction, you have to go to where the head is. That gives your partner a chance to move their head out of the way. Right? So, what you're going to do, guys, is you're just going to go this way when you snip. But your cushion holder is you're going to push it slowly towards your head. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, um, a fresh air slip with you guys. Right? Like this, if you guys know what to do. And I want that push from your cushion holder. Right? So, if I was facing the front of you guys in the glass, Right shoulder slipping this way. Right? Let's have a go, guys. Let's, let's hand up to so number one. Slip. Super. So you're just going to get your shoulder and your head out of the way. Two. Slip. Good, guys. We'll cover this more when we get back in the class. Okay, three. Slip. Push your feet. Four. Slip. Excellent. Nice. Five. Slip. Good. Six, slip. Super. Seven, slip. Nice. Eight, slip. Good. Nine, slip. Last one, ten, slip. Now, I always think when you get out of the way of something, like a slip, a duck, or a block, you should come back with three punches. And my coach always said, for every one thing from you, you throw three three things back. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to slip, come back, hook, cross, hook on the cushion, right? So let's do a few fresh air with me first, so you know what to do with your hands, and I'll let you loose with your cushion. So you guys face me, okay? Hands up, 
hands up this way. So if our hands are down, we slip and can't box. So number one, we're going to slip, we're going to come back with a hook, a cross, and a hook. Excellent. Hook, cross, and so left hook, right cross, left hook. Number two, we're going to slip, we're going to come back left hook, right cross, left hook. Yes, well done, guys. Okay, so take it nice and slow. Down. Number three, slip, back, left hook, right cross, left hook. Slip, good. Number four, we slip, come back, hook, cross, hook. Let's do one more, then you can go with your fishing hooks. Five, we slip, come back, hook, cross, hook. Perfect, guys. Okay, so from here, fishing. Fishing holders, if you guys can do me a favor, when you've pushed your cushion out, bring it back to the hook, up for the cross, back to the hook again. Okay? So it goes out, it goes hook, cross, hook. Does that make sense for you? Yeah? Right? So um, if I just borrow Master Bob a second um, to show you, sorry, I have one of them. Okay? Um, it's going to go from here. Push it towards my head, sir. Slip. I'm going to come back. That's it. Hook. Cross again. Cross. Hook. That's going to be our move. All right, guys. I will do fresh air with you guys if you're not sure. The shadow boxes. Again, let's have a go at doing five and then we're going to play again. Okay, so here we go. Number one, it's slip. Hook. Cross. Hook. Sit. Good, guys. Number two, we slip, we go hook, cross, hook. So even if you just work on the slip today, that is fine. Okay, three, slip, hook, cross, hook. Moving out the way, just getting that head and that shoulder out the way. Okay, three, slip, hook, cross, hook. That's it, good guys. Number four, we slip down. Hook, cross, hook. Very nice, guys. Last one, do this. Five, slip, hook, cross, hook. When you've done it, just relax. Okay, so we're going to play a game now of, I call it um, hot sparring. All right, hot sparring. So your cushion holder is going to be chucking uh, the cushion at your, at your belly right now. For the whole 30 seconds you guys are sparring, you have to be on one leg. Okay, the minute you put your foot on the floor, you owe your uh, partner five slidings. Okay, now if you get tired, swap legs. But as long as one leg is up the whole time, that's fine. Now, Master Bob is going for my tummy. This one, I've got to move and I've got to block, I swap around just to stop this movement here. All right, so. If you don't have a partner, fear not. Master Bob is going to be your partner today. Okay, he's going to come and say, I'm going to back a bit further back, sir, right back so you can see. Super. So for 30 seconds, you are going to be hopping around, blocking, and moving. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Up you go, guys. So again, just block and hop as best you can, guys. Keep it up. Hands up. Don't forget your hands are up. Because this is round one, we're doing three rounds. So other blocks are going to come in second. Okay, just move in. And remember, don't put your foot down. If you do put your foot down, it is five star jumps. And back up this way. All right, guys. Locking. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Perfect, guys. Well done. So round number two. Okay. Now your partner can either swing it at your, so push it at your tummy or swing it at your head, right? Now, can you guys remember the block that you use when it goes to your head? It's the cover block, isn't it, this one? So master block comes to my head, boom, you go down there, sir. Boom, this one, we're blocking and having our elbow up nice and high, guys. Okay, have I frozen? Can you, can you guys still hear me? Yeah? No, yeah, I've got some thumbs up and some not some thumbs up. Um, don't worry too much if you can't, just play the game. So we're just doing that one, or we're doing this one. All right, guys? 
So, um, tell you what, let's do 30 seconds. The master bob's going to be your partner. So, this way or this way, and you block or you cover. All right, guys? So, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, guys. Can you block and cover, guys? That's it. Imagine you are punching. Okay. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Okay. Um, here we go, guys. Yeah, we're all moving, guys. Good. Just work it. Fresh air blocking spine. Keep going, guys. You're doing really well. Okay. Lovely. Ready, guys. Well done. Good. And time. Perfect, guys. Well done. Well done. Okay, so last one we're going to do. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay, so we've done the low block, we've done the cover block. Okay, and um, is a high block. Right now, your partner can come down at your head like this, like they're bringing it over here. The best thing you can do when someone goes to the top of your head, like over here, sir, is just put your arm in the way this way. So if you kind of make a, a V shape, so not like that. We're not like this, we're kind of like the half the side of the roof of the house. We just go like this, boom, boom, okay? So, cushion holders, you can either go this way, this way, or this way. And your boxer has to block, all right? So I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to do that, guys. And, uh, and we'll see if you guys can do this without so that the whole time. All right, guys, going to be your partner if you don't have a partner. Okay, so three, two, one, go! Off you go, guys. So it's either blocking this way or covering that head. That's it. Good, guys. That's it. Just cover your head, make sure that you're safe. Good. So again, we just do that one there, this one here, or this one here. Just covering three parts of our body. Here, here, and here, so we know kind of how to stay safe, guys. That's it. And the more you do it, um, I, I can't hear me, Riley. Don't worry, we're almost done, mate. Just as best you can. Okay, lovely. We are moving. Good. Okay, lovely, guys. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time, guys. Well done. Well done. Okay. Excellent. Let's have a look. See if we've got Okay, guys, well done. All right, so what you can do now, guys, is pop your cushion down. Okay, thank you very much, cushion holders. Really, really good. Thank you for your help today. We're going to do a little bit of um, addition to, to finish, guys. Okay, so we're going to do an exercise called a, a horse stance squat. Okay, now I did this when I first started doing martial arts. Um, we used to stand in this position um, to have strong legs. So what you have to do is sit down in a horse stance, put your arms out this way. Okay? Sat down, we've got our arms out. We're going to do this exercise for one minute, that's 60 seconds. All right? In that 60 seconds, you want to just forget you're standing in horse stance and just hold that position. All right? So it's all about your mind telling your body you're fine. All right, guys? So here we go. Let's go in a horse stance. Let's go. Holding that horse stance all the way out. Now, not too low, but not too high. See so if you can feel it on your legs. Right? So I'll turn sideways so you guys can see. So I'm not cheating. Nice straight back. Bending those legs. We're going to feel nice and strong. Okay? I'll come back to the front so you guys can see as well. Right? This is great for making those legs really, really strong. Right? And we've got. Oh, we're 30 seconds down. So the more I talk to you guys, the more you're going to forget about the standing of your legs. Okay? So again, we're just going to hold that position. Really think about just making those legs really strong. I've only got 20 seconds left, guys. You're doing so well. Okay, just keep holding it for the last 15 seconds. Okay? Just keep those arms and legs. And my legs are, are starting to eight to 10 seconds left, guys. All right? Here we go. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, one, and time. Well done, guys. Really, really good. All right. 
So um, next week is our last Zoom class before we are back in the studio, which I'm very, very excited about. To see you guys again. Get the pads out, get the gloves out, back to playing more games as well. And we are kind of limited on Zoom, unfortunately, but um, we get back to the studio and we can have some really good fun. So well done today, guys. Coming to your attention. Sorry, Club. Good job, guys. Well done. We worked hard today, everyone. Well done.